Hello everyone, today's data science interview question is from Forbes. We'll run you through a step-by-step -step solution using a framework that you can use for any coding question, whether in an interview or on the job. But before we do that, if you want to learn more about data science, hit the subscribe button. Our question today reads, find the three most profitable companies in the entire world, output the result along with the corresponding company name, and sort the result based on profits in descending order. Sounds pretty straightforward. As an output, there will be two columns, profit and the corresponding company name in descending order. And it will have three rows because the question asks us to show just the top three companies. Now that we know the expected output, let's explore the data set. Forbes provides us with the table Forbes Global 2010-2014 data frame. Let's take a look at the data set and preview the table using the head function. Let's run it. So our data frame consists of following information about the companies like their name, the sector, industry, continent, country, market value, sales, profits, assets, rank, and the Forbes webpage. Sometimes data sets might seem uh, like it's already been sorted. For example, there is a rank column that might mean that the companies are ranked by profit. Using the sample function would give you more information. The sample function will return randomly selected outputs every time you run it. In the parentheses, you can specify the number of rows you want to see. For example, I want to see five rows every time I run it. So let's run it. And you can see randomly selected five companies and their corresponding data. To learn more about the columns and the data frame itself, use the info function. If you run the code now, you would see this information. The information contains the number of columns, the column names, the data types, the memory usage, range of index, and the number of cells in each column or non-null values. Let's go back to the question. So the question wants us to show the profit and the company name. So let's write the approach accordingly. Let's split the problem into four steps. Step one, import the libraries. To manipulate the data set, import the pandas. We will also be working with arrays in this problem. So let's import numpy too. Step two, group and sort your columns. In this step, we will group your profit and company columns and then sort by profit in descending order. Step three, rank the companies. Now to select the top three companies, we first need to create a column named rank and rank the companies by profit. And finally, step four, we will filter the data set. Since we added a rank column and we want to see the profit and company columns only in the output, let's show these columns by using bracket indexing. And we'll use a comparison operator to find the top three. Now that we know the approach we're taking, let's turn it into code. So first, let's import the libraries, import pandas and numpy. And then let's group the table by company and select the profit column by using the sum function with it. And then because group by function uh, adds indices to the data frame, we will use reset index. And finally, we can sort the values by profits and in descending order. So we are assigning false to the ascending order parameter. Let's run the code. You can see just the company and the profits in descending order. Now we just need to create a new column to rank the companies. We are using the minimum method so that it returns the minimum value as you can see here and we will be sorting it in descending order so we're assigning false to the sending parameter again now let's run the code 
and you can see the ranks. Finally, we will use the comparison operator less than equal to three with the rank column so that we can select the top three ranks first. And after that, we will use bracket indexing just to select the two columns that we actually require, which is company and profits. Now let's run the code again and look at our output. Here we have the top three companies with the top three most profitable companies with the first one being ICBC at 42.7 percentage, Gazprom at 39 and Apple at 37. Let's validate if the answer is correct. And that is the expected output. After spending some time on our platform and sharpening your skill, you'll probably realize that you can solve this question in just one step. Or you might be forced to think about it because the interviewers really like to ask you how to optimize your solution. It ain't a joke, there are Python one-liners too. So you can solve this question with one step, which is... We just use the table name uh, dot sort values by profits in descending order and again use bracketing index just to display the company and profits columns and use the head function to display the first three rows now there's one caveat with this situation that you must be absolutely sure that there are no companies with the same rank otherwise you might show the first three companies but not the top three companies be mindful of those so in such situations, it's always best to clarify your assumptions with the interviewer before optimizing your solution or, you know, just showing off those one-liners. Here we go. We showed you how to find the three most profitable companies using a three-step framework. I hope you enjoyed that question. It wasn't that hard, was it? If you enjoyed that, be sure to visit the platform to explore more data science-related interview topics. See you there.